DJI announces two, count them, two new drones for their Enterprise lineup. You're gonna wanna know everything about them. I've got the details, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Today we wanted to talk about the brand new DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal. Both two new drones from DJI Enterprise that are gonna shake up the industry, I think, in a couple of different ways. Now I say they are two new drones, but they are on the exact same platform. They're on the Mavic 3 platform, so a lot of these specs are gonna be the same between both of these drones. The difference is the camera. One of them has a thermal sensor on it, that is the Mavic 3T, and the other one has a micro four third sensor on it. This one is really for mapping and that is the Mavic 3E. So I just wanted to go through some of the things that I like about this new drone. And keep in mind, I haven't flown the new drone. I have seen it in person, but I haven't had a chance to fly it myself. We've got a demo unit coming very soon. We are drone dealers. We're selling these drones. So I want to talk about some of the positives of this drone. Let's get started. First up is a 45 minute flight time. That is a big boost from what the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced flew. That one was around 31 minutes. Uh, realistically, you're probably getting about 25. This one says 45 minutes, so you're getting close Closer to probably like 37 38 minutes but that is a fantastic flight time for a drone like this that means more time for you up in the air without having to change batteries out and having to interrupt your workflow next up is the range it has got a nine mile range with OcuSync 3.0 now again in the real world you're gonna have obstacles around you you're gonna have buildings you're gonna have trees so you're not quite gonna get nine miles you might get closer to five you might get closer to three just depending on your surroundings but regardless you have to keep the drone in your line of sight once you get past a mile, you're probably not going to see the drone anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it can go 5 or 9 miles or 45 miles. Bottom line, it has a fantastic flight range with OcuSync 3.0. It has a 56 time hybrid zoom, so you're going to be able to zoom right in there. Now, the further you zoom in, the more digitized it's going to get, but still, 56 times, if you are trying to get a close-up view, uh, this is the drone you want. 56 times zoom, that is on both models. Both of these drones are RTK enabled. If you don't know what RTK is, it's a essentially GPS on steroids. It's gonna give you centimeter level accuracy when you're flying maps. Or if you're like in a city environment where you're around a lot of magnetic interference, using RTK is gonna give you more stability. So it's a really great tool. Now you need a couple things to make the RTK work. You either need the RTK2 base station from DJI, uh, that can hook up directly to the drone, or you can use an N-Trip network if you happen to have one of those in your area. It's essentially RTK through the air and, and you can have a subscription for that if they happen to have it in your area but rtk can be a really important tool especially for those of you doing mapping it's just going to give you those great maps centimeter level accuracy especially on the m3e because it's got that micro four thirds sensor i love the fact that they built the beacon into the drone in the previous version the mavic 2 enterprise advanced and the mavic 2 enterprise dual they had the beacon as an attachment so you would have to screw it in and have your beacon on well if you're flying at night you need to have a beacon and if you want to use the spotlight, you're kind of out of luck because the beacon is in that place. So you had to use one or the other. Now they've built the beacon in so you can also have other attachments on top of the drone as well. This might seem like a small thing, but it actually is a big thing. It's just opening up those ports on the top for other attachments. There's also a high powered speaker on it, much like the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance, but this one is much, much louder. You can see the design of it is much different. And I'm sure this thing is going to be super loud and is going to have no problem getting everyone's attention. I was a little bit surprised there's no light for it yet. Yet. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. That's going to be an additional charge, obviously. Uh, but from what I've heard, CZI, who also made a speaker spotlight combo for the M30T, may be working on something for the Mavic 3T and the Mavic 3E as an attachment to put on top. Maybe a speaker spotlight combo as well. Uh, that would be a great thing. But right now, no light, so you should know that going in. That's going to be one of the differences between the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance and this drone, the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3T. Now let's talk about the specific drones. Let's talk about the Mavic 3 Enterprise first. This one is really a replacement for the Phantom 4 RTK, a very, very popular drone. The Phantom series, especially the Phantom 4 series, has been huge with mappers, and that is what this drone is here to replace. Not only does it give you that big micro four thirds sensor, but it also gives you the RTK that I was just telling you about, and it's got a mechanical shutter. This is a huge deal for people that do mapping. This was why the Phantom series was such a big deal because it also had a mechanical shutter. So this is big news for mappers, helps make your maps a little more accurate, and just helps make your life a little bit better. 
And what does the Mavic 3T offer that's a little bit different than the Mavic 3E? Well, one, you get a thermal sensor. 640 by 512 high resolution thermal. That's the top you're gonna get in any sort of drone these days. It's not military grade. So great high resolution thermal. You're gonna get accurate heat signatures from 400 feet up in the air. So that is great for search and rescue. That is great for surveying. That is great for construction work. Just on and on and on different industries that are gonna be affected by drones like these. You've also got 360 degree protection with those sensors. They're gonna keep you from running into things. If you've watched our channel, you know what we always say. It's great to have sensors. It's like a seat belt. It makes you feel a little bit better that you got it there, but you never want to have to use them. So don't trust the sensors. However, they are very, very accurate and they will do a great job of keeping you away from obstacles. Don't count on them. Count on yourself. Fly smart, fly safe, and you're not going to have to worry about the sensors. Now let's talk about pricing. For the Mavic 3E, without the RTK base station or the RTK module that you can put on top, you're looking at around $4,400. The RTK top hat itself is around $700. The RTK base station is around $4,000. So once you add it all up, you're looking at around $9,000 for the Mavic 3E. That's if you want all that stuff. If you need the RTK, everything that's gonna add more money to it, obviously. For the Mavic 3T, you're looking at about $6,400. That's including three batteries. That's including the hard case, uh, everything you need, the chargers, the, all that kind of good stuff. $6,400 is what you're looking at. Again, if you wanna add RTK to this, which most of our police and fire departments don't use RTK because it just takes too long to get dialed in and to get set up with it. But if you are looking to add RTK to it, again, around 700 bucks for the top hat, around $4,000 uh, for the RTK base station, so you'd be adding it to that. But like I said, most police and fire department do not need that. So you're looking at around $6,400 for the base package. Three batteries, smart controller, hard case, all that kind of good stuff is baked into that price. So 6,400 bucks, that's actually cheaper than the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance was. Now the one thing you're missing is a spotlight. So think in the future, you may have to add a spotlight, which is gonna up that price a little bit once we we get to that point so once somebody announces that they've created one uh, for the Mavic 3e and the Mavic 3t I know that sounds like a lot of money but you're getting a whole lot in these tiny little packages of drones hard to believe that they've been able to put all this technology into these drones I personally can't wait to get my hands on it I can't wait to start testing it I'm gonna have a video real soon once I get it in my hands uh, Michael and my business partner and I will go out we'll shoot a bunch of videos and I know there's no shortage of youtubers out there that want to tell you all about these drones so we appreciate you watching our videos and taking the time uh, to see what we have to say we do work with police departments we do work with people in construction we do work with people in surveying so we know what we're talking about we buy our own demo units we're not influencers not that there's anything wrong with that but we live and breathe drones and how they can change the way we do business thank you guys so much for stopping by we'll see you next time